Ready to get this show started? Yeah. Your first comic comes from Virginia Beach to make you guys laugh. He's one of my favorites, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Shelsby. Hey, you guys clapped until I got to the front. Awesome. Uh, my name is Brian Shelsby, and my crotch smells like halibut. Um, all right. Guess we're paying attention to Jesse. Jesse earlier. I just slurred that really weird. There's like a list that I don't normally have that just came out for a second. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> this buddy I know used to brag about having three ways all the time. Eventually, I found out it's what people call a devil's three way. Uh, if you're not familiar with this term, it's when it's two guys and one girl. Yeah, that's the bad kind. Uh, even though you can high five while doing it, it's still the bad kind. <laughs> Got me thinking, though, like, if that's a devil's three way, then what's God's three way? Is that like when one man and one woman wait till they're married to have sex and Jesus watches over them? <laughs> Touches himself in the corner. Uh, Jesus. He's a man who watches everything. Sometimes he's gonna touch himself. It's biology, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm allowed to talk about Jesus this way because I went to church when I was a kid. Uh, I went to Methodist church. It's like the Amstel light of Christianity. It's pretty awesome. Car free, no guilt. Catholic, Catholic Church is like, uh, yeah, you <laughs> can't do that responsibly. <laughs> a lot of guilt and shame involved, too. Uh, I was in Atlanta recently, and this dude told me that Jesus is a real American. <laughs> yeah. Some of you guys, one of you guys are laughing. That's the correct response to that. Um, Jesus was uh, born roughly 1,500 years before America was founded. It's not possible. So this dude said it to me, and I agreed with him. Because I didn't get stabbed, you know? <laughs> There's no other response you can make. And I got me thinking, like, how did Jesus, like, how did he become a white man with, like, straight, silky, smooth hair, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure he was born in Bethlehem, makes him Jewish, and Middle Eastern. Um, my question is, who gave Jesus a flat iron? <laughs> That's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. There's no way you could have accomplish that hair without electricity. <laughs> Pretty sure all I got was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Flat iron was not on that list of things <laughs> for Jesus. Wait, like, all right. Maybe he, because he can walk on water, he also has melanin that can't get color, so he doesn't tan. That's why he's white. Fine. But like, I was already painting a statue of Jesus Brown, and the cop came up to me, I was like, I'm not vandalizing it. I'm just making it historically accurate. <laughs> That's what I have to do. I don't know. There's just going to be something there someday. <laughs> All right, this buddy, uh, he, he, thinks that, he thinks that he doesn't like changing in the locker room because he thinks there might be a gay guy in there and they're going to like what they see too much. I'm like, That's a little short-sighted and ignorant. Whatever, dude. Like, clearly, he doesn't understand. Like, it, I think he thinks that homosexuality is a choice. And if that's the case, then he's not using his brain. <laughs> like, if you ever change in the locker room, you would encourage your gay friends to go there. You know, because there's always that naked old dude, and like he's way too old to be naked, and like he's shaving, and his like foot's up on the sink. Like, why is your foot up on the sink? You're shaving your face. That's not necessary. <laughs> but like, just that sight might scare that dude straight, and <laughs> that's a show that I would watch. <laughs> It'd be awesome. That too is gonna go somewhere someday. <laughs> All right. I don't eat, I don't date Asian girls uh, because I'm adopted. What if I'm related to them? <laughs> I, don't, I don't take chances. <laughs> uh, large groups of Asian people make me nervous. We're not in Disney World. What are you up to? <laughs> I don't want to get Tokyo drifted. I don't know what the fuck they do. <laughs> My sister, she teaches English in Korea. I could never do that. There are far too many Asian people there. <laughs> like, uh, like, she teaches English, uh, it's pretty sweet, because like tomorrow, in, in Korea right now, it's tomorrow, that's pretty awesome, it's like in the future, and that's like having a magic eight ball, because my sister lives there. Every time I call her, she says, like, Brian, football season just started, I have no idea who's going to make it to the Super Bowl, it's not how time works, stop calling me when you're drunk. <laughs> we have a great relationship. I was actually born in Korea. Like I said, it's tomorrow, it's the future. I was sent to America. So that makes me a Terminator. 
pretty awesome. I had to find John Connor and Arnold Schwarzenegger because they have awesome weed. And she can get, <laughs> she can get robots on it. It's Skynet weed. I want it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I used to get picked on a lap around the cheeky eyes. Those kids are just mad because I see everything in widescreen. <laughs> you guys are Brian Jelly. <laughs> Shows me everybody. Yeah, good stuff. Have a good night, guys. Ride safe. Uh, your next comic this is I love this dude. Really, really funny guy. He came from Virginia Beach to make you laugh. Give it up for the hilarious Remus Borisov. Yeah. How you doing, my comics? Yeah. So Foghorn Leghorn is racist. I thought he was black because of his big cock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was uh, talking a little bit about mine. Um, I was a late bloomer. I lost my virginity when I was 19 in a horse drawn carriage. And I gotta say, uh, 1383 was a big year. And soon after that, I was impaling as many peasants as I could get my hands on. That's a Dracula dick joke. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. So, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't understand how people can be homophobic still. Um, I can't be because I already think everyone's pretty gay uh, in general. Like, uh, I mean, I have like friends that are comics and they seem normal at first, but after a while you realize that they're pretty gay. <laughs> and I really don't like talking about sex to begin with because I think it's a private thing reserved between one man and one computer. So, I don't know. I went to Wisconsin recently this summer, and uh, I realized that there is a God because I found cheeses. And um, I realized that once I let cheeses into my heart, I'd be okay as long as I had cheeses there with me. But you gotta be careful because you might become full of it. That's a poop joke. Um, anyway, anybody here watch Magic Mike? Frequently? Me neither. Um, I, I didn't want to watch it because it sounds like the title's an innuendo for a dick. Um, pretty much like, you know, 50 cents like magic stick. Like, oh, I couldn't hear you. Can you say it into my magic mic? I don't know. And I'm not going to watch a movie about a dick anymore. Because um, it started with Boogie Nights and that led to Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One movie I do like is uh, E.T. It's about an alien that comes to America, and it's uh, pretty sweet because there's this part where he touches a dead plant, makes it come back to life, and the only thing I think is, man, it'd be awesome to smoke weed with E.T. Because <laughs> I like to go green and recycle or whatever. And uh, he's got a little vaporizer finger where he's like, alien, alien, puff, puff, pass. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I still think that's Lil Wayne's best role ever. Um, I'm pretty ambiguous looking. Uh, the reason for that is because my dad is a Jew and my mom's a raccoon. Uh, and she doesn't like that joke, so I don't let her out of the cage. But, um, I'm getting better. Um, I'm actually Romanian, and it's uh, famous for all things creepy like vampires and werewolves and gymnastics. Um, I used to get teased a lot because I was Romanian when I was a kid. Uh, people would say I was a vampire, but I had to tell them I was a quarter Jewish, and everybody knows that Jews can only be werewolves. Because we're hairy. Anyway, I've uh, recently become proud of your Romanian. They're finally number one at something. Human trafficking. Um, or white slavery. Um, I've actually been sent here to start abducting white families with my comedy. Um, any takers? All right. Um, I'm just kidding, I'm not a white slavery game. I could never compete with Visa. <laughs> um, but other than that, I don't know. I'm pretty normal. I like uh, people watching in parking garages. And uh, <laughs> there's this thing I like to do is when I see a girl walking past a row of cars, I like to go, get on the van! Uh, it's a lot funnier from further away. 
<laughs> but at least I learned something. You can measure creepiness, and that's in feet, in your trunk. Um, anyway, um, I'm trying to start this thing out where I help the homeless, and it's a food drive, and we deliver canned goods for moving vehicles. It's called Soup, There It Is. <laughs> effective and entertaining. Thank you very much, McCormick. You guys are awesome. Bring this chorus off, everybody. Let us know about it. Ah, oh, see Michaels, everybody. Yes. I say if you guys your next comic. Really glad he came out tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Travis Charles. All right, really quick, I want to share with you a few groups of people that I hate. Uh, the first group is, uh, is pregnant homeless people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should just stop fucking if you're living in a box. <laughs> Boxes are rocking, please drop a dollar. I also hate people who fucking uh, go to the gym and work out a lot, like to brag about what they do at the gym, or come back and tell you like how good of a time they had. Like, dude, guess what I did at the day gym? I fucking bitch pressed 400 pounds. Oh yeah, guess what I did? I ate a whole birthday cake. <laughs> I'm not gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not, because I do it all the time. <laughs> you know what, man, has anybody here ever, hey, guys, has anybody here ever had that crazy ex-girlfriend who was, not the girlfriend, but the boyfriend who thought he was crazy? Like you're dating a girl, her ex-boyfriend thought he was nuts, trying to fuck with you? My girlfriend, before I got married, her, her ex-boyfriend thought he was crazy. He always called me all the time, trying to fuck me, like, Travis, you fucking with my life, you took my girl. I'm gonna fucking kill you, because I'm crazy. Well, first of all, Tim, uh, crazy people don't know they're crazy. Crazy people break in your house and kill you in your sleep. Then they steal your pet and give it your name. <laughs> Very exciting, like, hey, come here, Travis, come here, Travis. <laughs> Remember when I killed you? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Tell me a crazy ass shit. You know what's really weird? Anybody here like scary movies? Like, or like, I'm afraid of scary movies? Anybody here? The bartender, the little fucking guys are afraid of scary movies, the guys right there. All right, let me tell you something. You're not really afraid of scary movies. You're afraid of the music in the movie. Like, think about it. If you go home tonight, and you walk in your house, and there's a little boy crying in your living room, you go run up to him and go, dude, what the fuck's wrong? Why are you crying? Well, first of all, why are you in my living room? Like, you're trying to help him out. But if you walk in your house, and there's a little boy crying in your living room, and you hear a fucking creepy-ass violin going, like, what the fuck, kid? This is what scares shit out of you. are afraid of violins and fucking pianos. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't know. Um, this is a true story. I used to work for Comcast K. I used to go to people's houses to fix shit. And one of my favorite, one of my favorite stories was this guy. We went to his house one day because his complaint was someone ordered $500 worth of porno movies and he didn't want to pay for it because he didn't do it. So we get to his house and he's sitting there like, sir, you know, What's the big deal? What's going on? He goes, hey, uh, somebody ordered like $500 in adult movies. I didn't do it. I don't watch that stuff. So we're looking around the house. There's fucking tissues all on the floor. We ain't saying nothing. <laughs> he's like, I, I, he goes, I'll I, I tell you. I'll tell you. I, 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 come on, sir. What's going on? He goes, I'll I, I, I tell you. You ordered them. A goddamn ghost. <laughs> A ghost came out of my closet, sat on my couch, and ordered all these porno movies. I'm like, sir, let me tell you something right now. I'm pretty sure all these napkins are yours. And I'm 100% certain that is not ectoplasm. <laughs> Thank you, fucking people who watch Ghostbusters. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking, you do not realize how many fucking people are like, what's ectoplasm? I don't get it. <laughs> because you were fucking sheltered as a child. And you didn't know the joys of Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray. Oh my god. You know what? Hang on. I'm going to teach you guys something really quick. Do you guys know that the Komodo dragon is the only animal in the entire world? That if the female mates one time, she can store the male sperm for over 10 years and reproduce whenever she wants? Yeah, fuck that shit. Thank God women can't do that. Think about trying to break up with your girlfriend of eight years. Like, hey, sorry, Tracy, things aren't working out. I don't want to see other people. I don't care. I love you. Fuck that. I'm pregnant. God damn it. Bitch, what the fuck? You're not going anywhere. Eight months later, your friends call you up, dude, I thought you broke up with that bitch. No, man, she fucking Komodo dragging me. <laughs> oh, thank God 
Why is your name Black Widow, you? I fucking love you fucking college fucks who are smart and get that shit. I tell that shit in West Virginia, like, I don't understand Black Widow, what? Ain't no goddamn women around here losing their husbands that are black. <laughs> Thank y'all. Travis Charles, everybody. Yeah, end on that bell. I